I was really proud of how our team did at last week's competition, about how far we got. Um, um, we basically qualified for Worlds for our second time. Earlier this month, the first Team 1710 Robotics crew competed in the Greater Kansas City Regional Competition at Lee Summit North High School. Mr. Taylor, Bryden, and Alana explained what the Impact Award meant to the robotics team. That Impact Award is, is huge to the team. It's something we take a lot of pride in as a team. The Impact Award is kind of like the culmination of everything our team does. We have outreach stuff that we do, and then we have more robot-oriented things that we do, but the Impact Award recognizes both. Put forward like our values and like make sure that <clears throat> We really focus in and hone in on them to make sure that we are like a properly built team. During competitions, First Team 7010 described the process of preparing and addressing problems when needed. Uh, we prepare for these competitions in a lot of different ways. Uh, since we've got a lot of different things going on on our team, uh, we've got um, a, a robot team that uh, practices in the preseason. Uh, through some practice projects and just skill building to, to learn how to work together from a design perspective of getting the parts uh, created and outlined to a build perspective where they machine and assemble those parts to programming, getting those parts to, to work together in concert. Uh, and so all that takes work and practice and, and throughout the build season as well. First Team 1710 also explained what to work on to prepare for the next competition. So since after this competition, we won two awards, the uh, in engineering and inspiration and the impact award. So these two awards, so either if we got one or the other, allow us to go to world championships down at Houston. So we'll be hard at work preparing for that weekend uh, and the, near the end of April. The robotics team will compete in the world competition in Houston, Texas this week. This has been West of Wurzberger for ONW Now.